Hey, we're here with Mike tonight, um, actually finishing up a project that I started last week. Now, Christy wasn't here last week, so we didn't get any video. Yeah, it's my fault. I was too lazy to get the camera out, and Mike and I were wanting to get the job done. So Mike has a, well, Mike had a little bit of a, a you might call it a plumbing problem. He had a sump pump here, right, Mike, in your house that the drain wasn't working very well. Yeah, drain, I think it was probably the original drain from, you know, the 1950s as an old clay drain. And as you figured out, it was pretty much full of gunk. Oh, yeah. Boy. Now we broke it. I mean, the, the breakage took place when we had Casey in here and dug yeah. it out, but uh, but it was full of roots and stuff like that. Replaced 27 feet of pipe. It seems to be fine. Hopefully we can get you know, a few good years out of it. Yeah. This is kind of an example of how we do business. In this case, we didn't come in and just do the plumbing work for Mike. We dug the trench. He did the work. It gets to save him a little money. And uh, then we just come in and fill it up after him so he doesn't have to you know, break his back doing the job. Mm -hmm. Which is so. very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> we'll not try to sort the clay out, the tile out, yeah, just dump it back any, in there. If, if it ends on up on top, we'll uh, okay. get it out at that point and throw it away. It looks a little muddy, so it may kind of cake up on us, but we'll see how it works. Yeah, but we had a big storm come through, so it uh, had a lot of water in there. Oh, you got the pipe all covered up. Yeah, because it was, it was hanging up probably, you know, three, four, five inches in some spots, and I didn't want a uh, scoop full of dirt coming down on that. Now, I assume that you uh, had to dig out down there is where you had to dig out. No, right here just a little bit. Okay. Uh, and then I had to dig around, you know, both ends of the pipe a little bit, but it had a good slope. Uh, you know, once I got this down a little bit, it had a good slope all the way down, and I had to kind of tweak the pipe, just that last pipe a little bit, because they're... It's not quite a straight line. We didn't even use our laser level for this project. It was it was really a pretty good slope we had here. And we actually connected to an existing pipe that's on out on out there near the, the, the property line, which is a good thing because if we'd had to have done that, that would have been a lot more work for everybody. So we, we dug out this center and we found where it was clean on both ends. And Mike has buried white PVC then, connected it all together. You can't see that, but you'll just have to trust us. It's there. <laughs> okay, well, let's get started. I see a little hand spade over there. Where is that? I'll be in big trouble. If that, there it is. All right. Yeah, All right. don't want to bury that. My right? wife mentioned that. Oh, and I saw. Now, when I dug this out with Casey, it was a muddy mess. Partially because of the storm he mentioned, but also because all the water that the pipe had been sending up on the surface there. So I knew there wouldn't be any chance to save the grass. Heavy hitch tooth bar again. Yeah, I had the tooth bar on because I knew it was going to be muddy there. Stuff was pretty muddy since it rained a lot last night. If it were dry when I dug it out and when I filled it in. You I may be wondering, the, the headphones Tim has on are noise canceling, but they're also Bluetooth headphones. So if he gets a call coming in, he'll be able to know. But they are hearing protection. The headset was provided by a potential sponsor. If you'd be interested in learning more about them, let us know in the comments section. Depending on the level of interest, we might be able to provide a coupon code for a discount. So you're, you're always a do-it-yourself kind of guy? Uh, yeah, I am. Sometimes it gets me in trouble, but... This time I, it looked like it worked out. Yeah. I mean, this, this probably would have been a $2,000 job to hire somebody, I imagine. Probably. So, I did ruin a piece of Runyon Equipment's, uh, uh -oh. I tried roto-rooting it out. Okay. And the uh, machine I got, the uh, got caught, the cable got caught, so I went to back it out and the uh, cable snapped. Oh no. So, that ended up being, uh, Did they charge you for that? Yeah. Yeah, which, you know, I knew. But they, oh, okay. they were very fair about it. They, okay. they charged me wholesale for the part, and so between renting that and, and paying to have them fix it, that was $350. Well, and it would probably really needed the PVC pipe anyway instead yeah. of just fixing the old clay. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. I wouldn't have guessed your house is from the 50s. Yeah, most of these were built in 56, you know, mid-50s. 
This is actually our second home we've owned in the neighborhood. Oh, okay. We lived two blocks north and had kids and ran out of room. And now we're at a point where I'd like to have the old house back. <laughs> <laughs> Until your kids start having kids. Yeah, yeah. We've uh, actually, both our kids are still here. My oldest is a nurse and she's getting ready to buy a house, but we encourage her to live at home and for a couple of years. So my other daughter is in school. How many hours do you think you had into the project at this point? Most of it was me digging holes in here trying to find the leak. And then okay. I, I finally, because I, I dug up here first, found you know a crack in the pipe where the water was coming up. And then I, I dug holes all the way along here and it got deep enough towards the end to where I, I finally said, you know, I'm, I need some help. Oh, okay. So, um, you know, I probably had, you know, five hours and messing around with that. Uh, but putting the pipe down was quick. That okay. Was a, you know, having this part of it done, uh, it was probably an hour to put the pipe in. and. Uh, so not too bad once you no, got it dug no, out. No, if, if I would have... Uh, if I would have just hired you guys in the first place, it would have saved, you a, saved me a lot time. of money and a lot of time. But you didn't know that, though. No, it worked out okay. It's using the weight of the tractor to push it in there some. He's closing up the uh, wound. Typically there's lots of soil left over when you go to fill in. In this case, however, once I started packing it down, I seemed to run out of extra soil. I'm thinking it was so wet and I did a good enough job packing that there might not be a lot of settling. What he can do in a few minutes would have taken you a while, wouldn't it, to fill it back oh, in? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, uh, we had a similar issue in a, with a water line down at our cabin uh, in southern Indiana, and I uh, ended up digging a lot of that, too, and it also ended up uh, me hiring somebody with a big uh, piece of equipment to do it. Oh, okay. So you think I would have known better at this point? Well, there's a lot of people who just want to try it on their own. At least our tractor fit through your gate and everything. Yeah. Now a little grass seed and a little water and be good to go. Yeah. It if the yard starts to kind of roughen up this time of year anyway with the shade and the sure. moisture. So it's uh, we've been with all the you know trees back here. It's been a challenge getting grass to grow in those areas. Yeah. So timing's good. Hopefully you can get a little grass to grow before winter, so it won't be a muddy mess when it snows. Yeah. I'll try to get in there and pick up some of those pieces of clay tile. How did you know there was a problem? Well, we had we've had a little hole for a long time that we we thought was a you know chipmunk hole or something, which it may have been. But uh, you know, a week and a half ago, uh, we had walked out here, and my wife noticed kind of a, a line of uh, of dampness. Okay. Um, and it had been dry for a while, so we okay. knew something was up. Okay. So later that evening, I came out with a flashlight, 
and force the sump pump to run and I could see water just kind of gurgling up through oh, that hole. Wow. So fortunately I had a place to go. It wasn't backing up in the basement. Right. So, and you know, that was, of all the things that, you know, could have been, that was probably best case scenario. Just, yes. Because we got a sewage line that comes out somewhere in the back, but it curves around pretty quickly, so. Just like new. The grass is a little browner than it was when yeah. it started. Yeah. Uh, that isn't going to be perfect. When it dries out, I'm certain you'll look at that and say, look at the mess he made. But I think because it was so wet, we may have got it packed down more than normal. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. You guys have a, a grader? We have a tiller. To, or a, okay. Uh, that's what I would come back and do if you, if, when it's dry, if you want me to. Uh -huh. Yeah, it needs to dry out a good bit. Oh, yeah. it's, it's too wet to work with. Right oh, yeah. Now. Nah, it's... But, and we don't know this fall, you just never know. Right. Uh, but if it gets dry enough that you can come out here and grab a handful of it and it crumbles instead of makes a mud ball, then call us. Okay. We'll come till it. I guess that's pretty much it, Mike. And uh, Yeah. Well, I hope you don't have any more water problems. I'm sure I can train the dogs to stay off of this. Ah. Shouldn't be a problem at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They'll probably like this. Yeah. Uh, and you'll probably not like it on your carpet. Yeah. Right. Uh. Fortunately, we don't have much. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for hey. having us over, Mike. Thank you. Yeah, it was fun. Good thank thank you, you, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. Johnny was just the right size. All done. Sad. Johnny, you had to go home now. Yep. Playtime's over.